Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 6th of November. Authorities in New Delhi reintroduce odd even scheme to combat air pollution. Pakistani Islamists say they are ready to defend Palestinians. And Nepal earthquake victims struggle to keep warm as mercury drops. And now for all the details. Keeping in view the rising pollution levels in the Indian capital, Delhi's Environment Minister Gopal Rai on Monday informed that the odd-even car rationing scheme will be enforced from November 13 to 20. As part of measures, schools have already been shut until November 10, while construction activities have also been suspended. The latest decision was taken considering the likelihood that pollution levels will rise after Diwali, which sees people bursting firecrackers despite restrictions. आज की बैठक में एक महत्वपूर्ण फैसला और लिया गया है कि अगर जो चूंकि ये संभावना दिख रही है कि दिवाली के बाद प्रदूषण का स्तर बढ़ सकता है, उसको देखते हुए दिल्ली के अंदर दिवाली के अगले दिन 13 नवंबर से 20 नवंबर तक एक हफ्ते का जो है वो और डिवेन फार्मूला जो है वो दिल्ली में जो है लागू किया जाएगा। Delhi's air quality remained in the severe category on Monday, with the AQI hovering above 400 in most areas. Officials said a seasonal combination of low temperatures, a lack of wind and crop stubble burning in neighbouring farm states had caused a spike in air pollutants. If you are living in Delhi, then your life is definitely reduced in 5-7 years definitely compared to other places. यहाँ पे ये सब स्थिति नहीं है तो स्थिति बहुत ही दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है कुछ ना कुछ जरूर होना चाहिए मुझे लगता है और मोदी जी को कुछ ना कुछ सोचना चाहिए करना चाहिए क्योंकि लोगों की आशाएं मोदी जी के साथ ही जुड़ी हुई हैं हमने वोट मोदी जी को दिया है Amid New Delhi Ottawa diplomatic impasse, India's High Commissioner to Canada, Sanjay Kumar Verma has urged Canada to provide evidence to support the allegations regarding India's involvement in the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. In an interview with a Canadian media outlet, Verma said India has not been shown any concrete evidence yet as he simultaneously denied India's role in Niger's killing. He also expressed concerns over the safety of Indian diplomats that Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar also flagged when India suspended visa services for Canadian citizens to India in September. India has now resumed the visa services in Canada for four categories. Canada also called back its 41 diplomats from India last month after New Delhi shared concerns over parity in diplomatic strength. Around 10,000 people marched through the streets of the Pakistani capital Islamabad on Sunday in an Islamist rally demanding the government to allow them to be involved in the conflict between Hamas and Israel. The rally, which was organized by hardline extremist organization Tehreek e Labbaik, saw protesters chanting slogans in favor of Palestine as they marched toward the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad. There were calls for jihad and action to defend Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque, regarded by Muslims as the third holiest site in Islam. Recently, another radical political party, JUIF Chief Maulana Fazlul Rahman, also met with top leadership of Hamas, extending support to the militant outfit in the ongoing conflict against Israel. Moving on, political activists in POK held a massive gathering, raising concern over inflation, unfair taxes by Pakistan and lack of basic amenities. A report. Members of socio-political group, the Awami Action Committee, recently held a massive gathering in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, raising concern over unfair taxes and Pakistan's indiscrimination. 
The activist highlighted the common man is suffering due to a rise in inflation, while Islamabad continues to turn a blind eye to their problems. They demanded the people should be immediately provided subsidy on gas and electricity. अपने बच्चों को स्कूलों में पिक एंड ड्रॉप देते हैं इनके बच्चे सियासी मकामात पर घूमते हैं इनके कोई भी काम हो सरकारी गाड़ी इस्तेमाल होती है वो टैक्स हमारा है हमारे पैसे से जाता है और अगली बात जो है जब हम बात करते हैं कि इनकी मराद खत्म की जाए तो ये इंतजामिया को डालकर अथकंडे शिक्षित करते हैं हमारे खिलाफ क्या इनको इस बात का इलम नहीं है कि हम असम्बली में कैसे पहुंचे हैं क्या ये माँ की गोद से डायरेक्ट असम्बली में पहुंच गए हैं जी हम लोगों ने सिलेक्ट करके असम्बली में भेजे हैं Residents of POK have long blamed that Pakistan does not grant the locals of the occupied region any political rights and representation although it taxes them heavily. Victims of Nepal's worst earthquake were seen struggling in their makeshift relief camps as temperatures have started dipping to 10 degrees Celsius in the region a report Kaushala Khatka, a resident of Nepal's Jajar Kot, was seen trying to protect her two-month-old infant from cold, struggling in a makeshift relief camp following the worst earthquake in eight years. Kaushala's family was among the hundred other victims whose houses either collapsed or suffered significant damage in the Friday's 6.4 magnitude earthquake, which jolted Jajar Kot and nearby regions in Nepal and India. While the government has ramped up rescue operations, victims have alleged the relief material, which is already inadequate, is not being distributed equally, with focus constraining on the urban areas of the impoverished district. Meanwhile, India on Sunday dispatched humanitarian aid for Nepal, which was handed over to the Nepal government by Indian envoy in Kathmandu. In a post on X, India's foreign minister informed about the relief assistance calling it as India's neighborhood first policy in action. So far, 157 people have died, while hundreds of others have been reportedly injured in the second deadliest quake in the decade. In a heartwarming example of love and faithfulness, a pet dog has been waiting for its diseased owner in front of the mortuary in Kerala's Kannu District Hospital. A staff member said the dog had come along a patient four months ago. The patient, however, died and the dog saw the owner being taken to the mortuary. The dog feels that the owner is still here and does not leave. Notably, the dog's longing draws parallels to the story of Hachiko, the dog who waited outside the train station for years for his master to return. It is a poignant reminder of the deep emotional connections that can exist between humans and animals. Mortuary ka main gate bahar ki taraf hai, to body bahar se chali gayi. Lekin usko aisa lagta hai ki abhi bhi uske malik yahan pe hi. To wo itna acha doggy hai jo yahan pe hai. और चार महीने से यहीं पे रहता है इन अबे टू प्रमोट इको फ्रेंडली दिवाली मेंबर्स ऑफ अ वुमेन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप इन इंडिया जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैव मेड ट्रेडिशनल लैम्प्स यूजिंग काउ डंग Utilizing cow dung an easily available and renewable resource alongside natural colors the women from the rural areas have showcased their expert craftsmanship by creating this hand painted designs that reflect the region's rich cultural heritage Their aim is to promote PM Modi's vocal for local and self-reliant India initiatives and hope they will get good income ahead of the festival of lights. इससे हमें ये फायदा होगा कि जो लेडीज़ घर में रहती हैं वो घर का काम करते करते थोड़ा सा काम अपना टाइम निकाल के जो गोबर के दिए पहले तो हम इनसे ट्रेनिंग ले रहे हैं तो हम घर में जाके जो जो भी प्रोडक्ट है इस जो घर जाके हम इनके दिए बनाएंगे उससे ये होगा कि जो एक तो हमारा घर का काम का चलता रहेगा और इससे जो जो हमारा छोटा मोटा रोजगार है वो भी चलेगा 
It is believed that millions of lamps were lit when Hindu Lord Ram returned to the Kingdom Ayodhya after 14 years of exile, which is commemorated as Diwali. The festival will be celebrated on 12th of November this year. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.